Hey guys, welcome to my third attempt at filming this video. This is my mailbox unboxings. Gonna try and make these a little bit shorter, not like 20, 30 minutes long. Um, hopefully you guys have had a really good day because I literally just got off of eBay and watched an idiot double the price of a uh, sale for no reason. Literally, I was watching a Teen Titans lot going for like 38 bucks for about an hour. Literally like 20 seconds before I put a bid in for like 43 bucks got rejected some idiot put in $72.80 You gonna put 50 bucks in dude? I mean, why would you why it's kind of like just take it idiot I don't you don't even you're not even mad you lost it. You're like I hope you don't have the money to pay for it. You're an idiot But anyway, hopefully you guys are having a good day Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hey, tell your friends all about me because I'm crazy. <laughs> right before I go to work, I do want to show you these because I've been dying to like look at these. I have two stacks here from my mailbox. I have this stack and I have this stack. This stack is really what is the meat of this video, but these ain't these aren't no slouch either. I have, if you guys have not been watching, hopefully you guys have may have realized that I've been trying to complete my Brian Bowen Wonder Woman cover collection. Well, actually what I'm trying to do is actually complete the second volume of Wonder Woman that George Perez, or Perez, excuse me, had created. I mean, which is what we're all looking at now. I mean, the Greek gods and everything else, that's all because of what George Perez had decided to do to make them more, brought them to the forefront instead of them just being talked about. They were actually active members of the storyline. Now, all these books I've gotten from eBay, and I haven't been doing really good on eBay. Only buy from people who have a 99% or better score. Um, I look at what they have as far as their other items. If it's just one item, you're a little leery on it. But if it's like five or six, yeah, okay. I ended up picking up Wonder Woman issue zero, which is a, not a hardcover to get, but it's like my LCS didn't have it. It was five bucks online. And I said, you know, I'll go ahead and do it. The guy had a 100% rating on there, and it was listed as near mint. This is not near mint. Their spy takes all up and down, which I don't care about that. I said, I want it to have it, but I hate when there's like stains. There's like two noticeable stains on here that just irritate me because, you know, you can't look at this without your eyes going right to them, and they're like literally one's here, one's there. They're like right in the, right there. And I I contacted the guy. He never responded back. I left a little a bad um, review. Who cares? He's going to sell other stuff. But I hate that. Don't list something as near mint if it's not just to get it out of there because it's just going to come back to bite you. Anyway, the rest of these I know are mint. And they weren't even listed as mint. They were just listed as uh, three different lots from the same uh, seller. And I just bought all three lots and he gave me a great deal on shipping. So I now have issue number 68 of Wonder Woman. Great cover. 69. Nah. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> 69. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, issue 70. Weird cover. Very weird. Number 71. And I don't have issue 72. Come on, people. That's just not happening. I, I can't afford it. That's like buying issue 197 of The Flash, first appearance in Zoom. That thing can go from anywhere from $50 up to $100. This Wonder Woman book, I have not seen it less than 75 bucks. That's stupid. Stupid for a cover. Um, but I do have issue number 73. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman working at McDonald's. I have no idea. Weird colors. Number 74. <laughs> a very anticlimactic issue, number 75. You would think for a 75th issue they would have something more. Oh, you'd think number 72 would be the cover instead of this. You know, you should swap out the two, but it is what it is. Issue 50 had a great cover, and it was done by Mr. Perez himself. Yeah. Um, issue number 76. Very weird. And issue number 77. So I probably now need like five or six issues that Brian Bowen did the covers on. 
to have issues one through at least I think 115 or up but you know I'm wanting to get the whole series but I really wanted to get the first hundred issues so a little step closer to that so I'm very happy about that and like I said I got all three lots for forty dollars I think total and then the Wonder Woman issue zero was five bucks so forty five bucks that's pretty damn good this deal is even better as I've been talking about I love George Perez I've been a fan of his since he was doing um, the Avengers and a Fantastic Four back in like the late or early 80s late 70s um, but these are some of his best works outside of his new Teen Titans act and like Crisis those are two those are up there with like that JLA and Avengers but this is probably right there I ended up picking up Hulk and Perfect 1 and 2 complete set got them for $40 40 bucks here's the thing the seller included the true in my opinion first appearance of the maestro in Marvel Age was number 8 8 or 18 can't remember oh she's 118 because he shows a preview for Hulk and Perfect before he debuted in the miniseries. This was a add-on. So I got not only first prints of this, of these two, because the covers are embossed. Once you get reprints, they're not embossed, or they're just going to be given them in trade paperbacks. These two were, are worth 40 bucks each, easily. Especially issue number one. Issue number one can go for like 70 bucks. This could go for about 20 getting this for free I mean you look at it on eBay it's not going for that much like under 20 bucks but it's a hidden gem that I don't know a lot of people know about so let me know if you knew about issue 118 from Marvel Age being the first appearance of the Maestro and if I'm wrong tell me if he appeared somewhere else because I know that this came out prior to Hulk and Perfect because I remember reading this when it came out so that's going to do it those are my books right now. Again, trying to limit it down to what I'm doing. I'm probably still over like the, probably about the 15 minute mark, hopefully less, but let me know what you guys think. What's up with the Hulk here? Uh, Imperfect is Marvel Age 118 his first appearance? And is Marvel Age also the first appearance of the black suit as Spider-Man? Hit me in the comment section as well. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm running out the door right now. I gotta go to work. So remember, Mirror Picture Book Drama it is everything in entertainment. I am your host on your video on Comic Guru. I will see you guys next time. Please hit that subscribe and a like button. Leave me a comment. See you guys next time. Peace.